body bags were Horlies. Who is this irresistible creature who has an insatiable love for the dead? Hey guys, happy Thursday, this is Fright Chick speaking. Okay, so it's my theme this week, famous starts or horror debuts, or whatever you want to say. Basically, you know, the big and the famous and all that sort of stuff before they were famous in a shitty horror movie for our pleasure. Okay, so I've picked um, Jennifer Connelly's start in uh, Phenomena, Dario Argento. Now, obviously, Labyrinth is quite a big deal here, you know. In Europe, we've all seen it. I don't know what it's like in America, but we love it. But she didn't start there, people. No, she didn't. She started it off in Phenomena. Uh, yeah, I I do really like this film. It's going to be a pretty positive review, but I will also take the mega piss out of it. Okay, so the basic premise of uh, Dario Argento's Phenomena is a young girl, Connolly. Uh, she gets sent to a Swiss boarding school because her father is like a famous director and she's always on her own being sent off to get a good education and such. So they send her there, she's like the only American. Um, I think she's about 15 in this movie. And uh, yeah, there's, this, there's like a serial killer on the ground, you know, in and around this uh, very high up in the Alps Swiss boarding school where they say the air makes you go crazy. Kind of like a black narcissist going on. Yeah, so she goes there and she quickly realises it's not really for her. She doesn't really trust the people there. They all basically are jealous of her because she is the daughter of a very famous director and whatnot. You know, she's obviously kind of a celebrity in her own right and they're just all pissed off jealous bitches. Yeah, she does make a friend in her roommate though. I'm pretty sure her name is Sophie. She's French. And uh, the serial killer comes about only a few times. This isn't really that splattery or gory, even though it is Argento. Um, but yeah, no one believes her. She quickly kind of, not figures it out, but she is the only kind of sane one in an insane group of people. Even though she, they think she's the insane one. Uh, she meets Donald Pleasant. He is, I can't remember what the the term is for people that study insects it's not anthropology is it I don't know it's something like that she meets him and he is basically an expert in the field they become fast friends he's like a father figure so so to speak and uh, he's the only one that really puts any faith in her and trusts her and kind of you know spends time with her she sleepwalks now the woman that runs the place thinks that this is a mark of the devil which automatically puts me on her side because these people are clearly fucking idiots uh, she sleepwalks and has these really freaky dreams, Argento style And this is the bit that I'm going to take the piss out of because she also has a psychic power. Her psychic power is nothing useful, although at the end it might be. She can communicate with insects. Now, yeah, that might be good if you want to get a swarm of bees or something to attack your love rival, I guess, or something like that. But it's mainly flies in this and there's a wonderful wonderful scene which we have a still of on the back of the DVD hair blowing in the wind uh, yeah she gets pissed off with a bunch of people and they'll take the piss out of her I'm pretty sure they're calling her something horrible at the same time she commands this amazing flock or swarm rather <laughs> flock of flies swarm of flies to just engulf the building and then she stands there going thank you Thank you. I love you all. I love you all. To the flies. And I was like, yeah, if they didn't think you were nuts beforehand, they will now. Uh, apart from that, though, uh, I think there's a chimp in this that she makes friends with. Uh, it's, the whole thing's just kind of wacky, okay? But it's still worth a watch. You're either go you're gonna. I think this film's like Marmite. You're either gonna love it or you're gonna hate it. Uh, I won't give away the ending because I was really tempted to find a photo of the, the kid of of basically the serial killer home and family that she uh, discovers at the end. And I really wanted to get a still of it because there's a wonderful "Don't Look Now" moment where she goes up and she's like, "Don't worry," and he just turns and it's like <laughs> it's fucking grotesque. But I thought that would spoil things, so you're not getting it. Uh, yeah, I'm pretty sure this came out in 85. Um, it is pretty gory at times. Uh, we open with a murder, actually, before the film even gets going. 
and a young tourist finds her way into serial killer camp and then she gets her friggin head cut off and it goes through the it's just oh, I know that the blood's all fake looking and it's like red paint and it's prosthetics and stuff but it's still gross when you see it up close like that it's not nice so when they released this, um, they released it overseas in America under the name Creepers. So if you can't find it, then maybe it's because you're not looking for the right title. And apparently the Creepers release is like 30 minutes less. Because obviously they they do that in America. They can't handle it. They're not hardcore like we are. Sorry, I don't mean to offend any Americans. But for some reason, your film board thinks that you can't handle gore and shit what up with that so yeah um i'm not i'm not sure if uh if you buy it now it will still be the cut version because i think you can only get the full hour and a half or however long it goes on for in region two so that may be a problem for some people but i think that's just the way it is okay yeah that was my famous stars uh jennifer Connelly's acting in this was good considering the subject matter i think she did well with the dream sequences and the sleepwalking and uh, the action, I guess, um, even though the ending is kind of laughable, but I think she did well, and of course look at what she's gone on to do. I love Labyrinth. I'm not talking about her A-list star stuff. No, Labyrinth all the way! Okay, I'll see you guys next week. <laughs> Bye!